All right, this is part three of using playlist and radio DJ. We're going to look at the second way to do playlist. Only this time, we're going to show you something you probably did not know radio DJ had because it seems to be hidden. It's not out in plain sight. And that is creating a playlist automatically from the rotation and based on the number of minutes that you set. So what, 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 what are you saying? Radio DJ has a function that allows you to create a playlist, a manual playlist, but it's, it's created automatically from the rotation. But you can also say, I want this playlist to be 90 minutes long. I want this playlist to be 120 minutes long. Now, you've probably never seen this because it's kind of the way it's set up is kind of hidden. So let's go take a look at that. Let's go back to our playlist builder. We have our playlist made, the ones that we made in the previous videos. And in the previous videos, we showed you how to make a manually make a playlist. We showed you how to schedule it. We showed you that you can use the same playlist over and over again each week just by simply going in and changing the content of the playlist. So that way you do not have to create a new event every time you update or change the playlist. All right. But in this version or this video, we're going to show you how to make a playlist from the rotation. So if I go to file and I go to open playlist, we know we have the ones we created. Okay. Those are the ones we created. If you want to open it from an M3U file, that means you're getting it off of the uh, hard drive. Uh, but right here, playlist from rotation. You probably didn't know that radio DJ had this. What this is going to do is it's going to create a playlist from your rotation. Okay. And you can go in here. If you have multiple different rotations, you can choose the rotation you want to create it from, but here's what you probably didn't know. By default, it's set, it's set for 60 minutes, meaning when I hit open, it's going to look at the, the uh, rotation that we have selected here, and it's going to create a 60-minute playlist from that rotation. If I want to make a 120-minute playlist, basically a 120-minute show, I change that to 120 minutes. I select the rotation I want to make it from, and I hit open. So let's go back down to the default 60 minutes. And let's see what happens. Boom. It just created a playlist. And let's go over to the bottom left corner, and it tells you how long this playlist is. This playlist will run for 59 minutes and 39 seconds. Now it's tough to get it right at 60. Okay. Station playlist does this. Um, it, it does it by finding files until it finds files to make it fit right at 60 minutes. You know, it may be a couple of seconds off. This kind of does that, but it doesn't. I don't know how it does it. <laughs> I just know that it uses the rotation to create this playlist. So let's look at what's going on in this playlist. And then we're going to go look at the rotation and you'll see why it is the way it is. We see here the first thing it does is a station ID. Then according to this, it looks like it's going to play a file. I know that's a gospel song, but look over here. It has a sweeper with it. Okay. It has a sweeper with it. Then it's going to play another song. That's a gospel song. And then this appears, I believe this is a bumper. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a bumper. So if I play it, uh, 
And a note. Giving you strength throughout your day with the word and song. Come on! Joy the Sorry about that. This is the best radio station ever. We love all the. Okay, so that is a a, a bumper. Then it's gonna play another song from another category. Okay. And let me see. There's a play button down here. Let me see if that play button is going to play that. Or is it going to play the one over on the left side? Okay. It will play the one on the left side. All right. Then we have commercial. Two commercials. These are the ones that are in red. Then we have another song. And this one has a sweeper. This looks like gospel, okay, and then this is another gospel song, and then another bumper. So where did it get this from? It got it from the rotation, and you can see that the rotation just repeats itself. It just repeats itself until it fills up 60 minutes worth of time. And then after you build this playlist, you need to save it, okay? So now we can save this and we can call this, uh, I don't know, I'll call it the 60 minute playlist. Just so we can keep up with it, okay? All right, so when I exit out of the playlist builder, let's go look at the rotation to see why it builded this the way that it did. So we go to track rotations. Um, the options wrench, track rotations. And here is the rotation. So you can see it did a station drop, two gospel songs, a bumper, a song from the 2000s category, two paid commercials, another song from the 2000s category, and then it just repeats. A drop, it just keeps repeating. So whatever i create or lay out in this rotation i can use that function under playlist builder i'm sorry i opened the wrong one under playlist builder and go file open and i can choose from from a playlist from rotation and i can choose how long do i want this show or this play this ro uh, playlist to run how cool is that? Let's put it in 120. See what we get. I don't know if there's enough music in there. So, okay, so that's the playlist. Go over here into the bottom left corner. The total time is 1 minute 58. No, 1 hour, 58 minutes and 37 seconds. So roughly a minute and a half shy of the 120. Okay. And then you can schedule it, you know, save it and schedule it like you do your other things. Now, why would you do this? I have no earthly idea. But I thought I would share this with you because this was the, this is the second way to do a playlist. And we have two more ways. We have two more ways to do playlists. And um, I wanted to show you this one because you probably didn't know about it. And I think that's all there is I want to put on this video because I want to keep them short so that you can learn what you need out of each one. And so in this video, we just talked about how to build a playlist automatically from the rotation. Show it to you one more time. We'll make a new one. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go over here. Let's go. Let's create a, a new rotation. And we're going to call this rotation a gospel rotation. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start off with uh, station ID. I think it's on in there. Yeah, it is. Uh, we'll do these times play. I'm going to start off with that. And then I'm going to go and get a track from gospel i'm only doing that one because um 
that is the one category I got. I actually got two in this demo. All right, so I'm going to put a 15-minute deal on all of these. Okay, so I'm going to, and I'm going to click on them, duplicate that one. And then on the second one, I'm going. I want this one to have a sweeper at the start. Okay. Then I want to go and get a bumper. So that's under promos, I believe. Bumpers, yeah. Release times. And I'll put on here, don't play the same bumper within a 30-minute period. I don't think I have that, uh, that many in there for this demo. Then we can say I want to do uh, one more gospel song. These times, 15 minutes. All right, and see, we got a station drop, two gospel songs, a bumper, a gospel song. Now I want a commercial. Okay, paid commercials. I think that'll work. Least times played. Don't want the same commercial in the 60 minute interval. I hope I got enough of that. Can't remember. Just to be safe. I'll do 15 because this is demonstration purposes only. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate that because I want two commercials. And then coming out of the commercial, we're going to go back to the station drop. Give me two gospel songs. Give me a bumper. Um, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a... Let's put one more gospel song. that and after the pay commercial I guess I'm gonna put a sweeper in there a voice drop basically okay uh, just a regular sweeper these times play okay let's move him up because I want a sweeper right after the commercial or basically a voice drop. So here's what's happening. Station ID, two gospel songs, a bumper, a gospel song, two commercials, a voice drop, I'm pulling it from Daily Sweepers, a gospel song, and then do it all over again. All right, so now we're going to save this rotation as our gospel rotation. So now let's go back to the playlist builder. And this time we're going to build one just for the gospel. So you go to the playlist builder, go to file, go to open playlist. We want to build a playlist from the rotation. We're going to choose that gospel rotation. We'll do our, and that's cool. And we're going to run it. Boom. Then we're going to look down in the left corner and we say this, we see that this one is 59 minutes and 48 seconds. That's close to 60. All right, so you see what's going on here. Um, you see our station ID, two songs, a bumper, the bumper is in green, a song, two, two commercials, they're in red, a voice drop, that's in orange. Um, and then in this case, one, two, three songs, because remember the last line was a song, and it skipped the station ID because I don't, uh, it looks like I only have one. So I would need some more station IDs to make sure that um, the station ID gets in there. It's following the rules, basically. And you'll also notice when you get down here to where it says two commercials, that there are not enough commercials to satisfy the rules I set. And this is why it only chose one down here. So if I had more commercials, it would be more uniform. Okay, and so we could save this playlist 
as a gospel playlist. You can do that, okay? So that's how you would do that. And then, of course, you would schedule it the same way we did in the other video. Um, and so we'll do that real quick, and we'll end this video. We'll call this the gospel playlist, load gospel playlist. And um, maybe we do this Monday through Friday only. And maybe we do this at um, 6 a.m. Now, oh, let's go ahead and finish it out. Click the plus sign. We want to... Let's see what it's like. This should look, this should be under. Yeah, there it is. No, there it is. Gospel playlist. Yeah. So it shows up in Radio DJ because it is a Radio DJ playlist, meaning it, it's not a file on the server. So it's stored it in the database. Okay. And then to make sure it starts, when we load it, we will do start playing. And then add the event. And so that's how you will schedule it. So every day at 6 a.m., it will push whatever's in the, the queue, or the, the, yeah, the queue, push it down, load the playlist or, or, or in front of it, basically. Play the playlist. When the playlist is done, then it'll go back to this. All right. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I think I can do another video today. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed something. If you got any ideas, suggestions, or comments, um, leave it in the comment section below, and uh, we'll go from there. All right? Thank you guys for listening. I really do appreciate you guys.